last film of uh, this academic year um, how things changed the first one was in uh, late March early April um, months and months ago um, and uh, thank you so much for your support and your understanding and patience with everything um, we are reviewing how we've done and you know let's hope it doesn't happen again but should another lockdown or a local lockdown happen uh, the way in which we would work one of the key learning points is that actually getting messages out to you uh, is so important and difficult i will continue to make these videos uh, some parents have said that it's been useful to get the explanation behind some points uh, and we also know that at a time when everybody is emailing you uh, so much stuff that parent pay doesn't always get through in terms of there's just so many emails to check through it can get missed we have um, identified a an app that can uh, be on a smartphone that just lets you know a notification is ready to access or allows class teachers year group leaders or or uh, team coaches to uh, send message out to targeted uh, parents and carers so hopefully that'll thing make things easier uh, we will continue to use parent pay we will continue to use twitter this website um, the uh, team at sunburst who have worked on the website have done such an incredible job and that has uh, really helped us getting information out to you and we'll obviously continue to use white rose maths and purple mash um, as we continue when we're back at school so um in terms of September, uh, the key news is that we're all back. We're all back in September. Uh, government have very much given a clear drive that they expect, unless there are clear underlying health issues, children to be back in school in all ages. Um, we have seen um, quite a lot of guidance from the government so far. There is more to come out uh, in the middle of August. So um, we're hoping that we have everything sorted, but we will come back to you with another video shortly before the start of term. Um, I'm hoping none of this is a surprise. You should have had the very lengthy letter uh, that I sent out with your child's report that you received on parent pay. Um, but we will be opening school to children for a transition morning or afternoon on the Thursday the 3rd or Friday the 4th of September. That gives them a chance to go into their new class, you should know who your child's class teacher is, uh, meet them, meet their classmates. We will be operating within a year group bubble for those of you who are concerned that uh, your child has gone into a class that's not with maybe a friend they wanted to be with and that the bubbles would mean that they wouldn't be able to interact that is not the case we have very much set it up lunch times the year groups will be together so they still will see their friends even if they're not in the same class and that's a really important uh, change to I think how we thought the guidance would work um, so uh, the full day back for all children first full day will be the monday the 7th of september there will be some differences they will line up to their uh classes or enter their classes sorry um you'll have staggered start times that we'll send through will be based on alphabetical uh order uh and children will be able to come into their classes straight away they'll be able to then sit themselves down get themselves ready the teacher won't start teaching until everybody's in but it just means that we don't have people moving around on the yard it does mean you uh, that punctuality really matters this year um, we need to know that all children are in so that the teacher can then start their uh, teaching for the day we are going to look at how the timetable works because some children uh, will really struggle in terms of first few weeks a getting up on time but also just the length of lesson so we really have been working very hard and I know my uh, team leaders and my subject leaders have done an incredible amount of work uh, Mr Singleton and I will be sending information on that out to you so children will come in there's a one-way system around the school we'll send all the information out on that to you they will come into their class and their seat area has to be their area we won't be using cloakrooms so some absolute please 
Over the time that I've been head at the school, we have seen children go from small little backpacks to things that you could generally, genuinely fit another child in. We can't have children bringing huge backpacks in. We, we just simply don't have the room because that backpack or their, their uh, little bag will have to go under the seat or on the back of the seat. Likewise, their coats. Until uh, we have a change in guidance from the government, a child will have all their things around them. So we need to make sure that we're not just swamped in bags and coats. So um, really do need to think about what they bring in. Um, and uh, again, uh, PE, the day that your child does their PE, they will wear their kit into school. They can wear tracksuit trousers if they you know, don't wish to be in shorts all day. But we would expect a child to be in PE kit again. It, it's about ensuring that children aren't all getting changed at the same time and where do we put everything and we, we are you know under really strict guidance from the government in terms of how everything works so uh, children are expected to wear their uniform this is a difference to those who, whose children were in key worker in the year group classes uh, again national guidance is they expect children to be sat in rows uh, and in uniform so you'll see things will look a little bit different uh, the government are also putting schools under really strong pressure to make sure that we are acting upon those children who are not attending. Um, so, um, and I'll talk about what we'll be doing or who will be doing that uh, uh, later on. Um, Breakfast Club will be available. Now that will be in the school hall. We are still working on plans for that and we will get information out to you. But we are therefore able to support those parents uh, who need to drop their children off from eight o'clock. What we're not able to offer at the moment are after school clubs. Um, we just simply can't make it happen or work in terms of bubbles, in terms of staffing, uh, and some of the arrangements we're having to put in place for staff. So, um, lots and lots of uh, new things there. Let's just go through some of the news. I'm hopefully, again, you're aware. Mrs. Carr um, retired at the end of the year. She will be replaced by Miss Newton, uh, who will be operating as our family liaison lead um, and doing a lot of the work that Mrs. Carr did around uh, family work, around uh, the safeguarding, um, and they are already working together on that handover. Mrs. Limna Dennis uh, uh, retired at the end of the year and, and uh, her work was around uh, classroom assistant but she'd done lots of work as uh, midday uh, senior controller as well and those two um, have gone on to retirement with our, our great thanks and best wishes. And Mrs Thompson has uh, chosen to move on to Pastors New to um, be able to use the uh, study that she's been doing over recent years and again hugely important member of staff um, really sad to lose her but wish her very well in her new role we also have uh, some temporary uh, absences so um, Mrs Barkworth and uh, Miss Barton are both going to um, be leaving us fairly soon into the September term to go on to maternity leave uh, an exciting time for them so uh, Miss Barton will be uh, covered for the year by uh, Mr Nyang and we are also adding uh, Mr Graham as a sports apprentice we'll be doing P in a slightly different way and more sessions for the children each week um, and Miss Hasnip will be returning as Mrs Gowdy so lots of changes there and um, classes uh, in order to cover um, maternity cover we've got uh, a slightly different makeup of classes as you've seen so mrs emery and mrs tidwell west in reception mrs gowdy and mrs thompson and welcoming back mr bailey uh, to year one miss o'dwyer and mrs lee who will be having uh, miss harper trainee teacher in with her um, year three will be miss law mrs copeman job sharing and leo and then miss nichols Year four, Mrs. Cheen and Mr. Whitehead, who will be uh, having uh, Mr. Ford, trainee teacher, in with him. Year five, Miss Hannam and Mrs. Clark, and year six, Mrs. Dowding and Miss Jakes. We are also very pleased that uh, we have found that we will be able to run Triangulum, so that will be um, Mrs. Charlesworth operating in there. So really uh, pleased that we've been able to find a way of making that work as well. Um, 
you've got the transition arrangements uh, and then on top of that a few other things just to go through um, we did operate uh, the food larder and food bank out of the nursery and that isn't something we can't offer uh, now because of changes in the nursery building and that will be offered uh, in a port cabin behind the church hall continue to get great support from agape father jonathan sibley has found some found some funding as well and you will have had a message through it's on our twitter feed as well if you can volunteer to support that we'd be incredibly grateful if you do need support over the summer please do uh contact uh, agape uh, or father jonathan sibley uh, at any time if there's nobody in at school but that is something that continues to operate um the uh other part of this is that the reason that uh, nursery is not available to be used during the summer is that we have undertaken a huge amount of renovation work because that is now going to be moving from the quarter to nine to quarter to twelve provision, 15 hours, um, to full time. And it, it's been heartbreaking over recent years that we've had to turn families away who want full time support or uh, families have moved to other nurseries so they can get the 30 hours. It will open at 8 o'clock in the morning and close at 5 and uh, food will be provided through our kitchens, through uh, Miss Smith and her team and the nursery will be managed by um, Mrs Smith who's joining us from a similar post uh, in another school and uh, we have built a team of five to work together in there. It's a really exciting time. Um, because the way that budgets work since you since we moved into academy status we only actually cleared that we had funding to do it and we could make it work uh, 10 days before the end of term so it's been incredibly hectic um, adverts have gone out appointments have been made uh, and that will be uh, running from the 7th of September and marketing and adverts and all those sorts of things will be coming out next week so lots and lots of um exciting things the food there will be done by miss smith and her team and i have forgotten to mention school dinners school dinners will continue uh to be continued uh, to be provided and they will be hot dinners uh miss smith has worked very hard with uh, mrs rosher and i to uh look at how this can be done reception new reception uh, children will be uh eating in the hall uh as will year five six on the second sitting uh, years one two three and four will be fed in their rooms but we have got a very good system to make that work so if your child uh, already receives um, school dinners please continue to book in the usual way we will send out information on this um, because miss smith will be able to provide the same fantastic service so lots and lots to share with you um I do hope that you're all safe. I do hope that uh, you have a good summer. It looks as though the uh, the hot weather is returning. I would like to thank all of you uh, who have supported us during this time, all those uh, local businesses and families who have supported uh, Food Bank, those of you who have been in touch um, during this period, whether it be around work, whether it be around uh, the online learning or the blogging those of you who have come to the online assemblies um thank you so much uh, and finally i need to thank our team we we have 68 members of staff and not one of them has taken a st step back during this period uh, and they have been absolutely superb i'm sure when we go through everything i know there are things that we could have done differently um but obviously i'm looking at that uh, through the prism of uh, four or five months since uh, we uh, came into a sudden lockdown but i know that staff have worked so hard during this period please don't believe what you read in the press about teachers sitting at home doing nothing they've worked incredibly hard they have put on so much uh, for your children and they have spent a lot of time that you won't see in terms of researching the best ways of working and the best uh, resources to use uh, with your children so i would sign off that you know all our staff have been working incredibly hard. They've also been doing a huge amount of work set by uh, Mrs Ford, Mr Singleton and my, myself in terms of preparing for September. They, they had lots of homework and online learning as well and meetings with different subject teams from across the Trust. So um, they are shattered um, and uh, I'm sure after a good rest we'll be ready for, hopefully, fingers crossed, 
a period without any interruption, no local lockdowns, and uh, back to what we do best, which is providing high quality education for your children in a joyful atmosphere and it will still be us it may look differently you may have to go around a one-way system you may have to uh, do without after after school clubs for a couple of terms until we have clarity on how that can work but it'll still be us and it'll still be as magical as we can make it thanks ever so much stay safe